Hi, welcome to this week's cartoon review where we'll be looking at Transformers Season 2, Episode 3, Dinobot Island Part 1. This is where we're looking at uh, Dinobot Island, the two-parter episode. So, uh, get ready for this. <laughs> this is actually my opinion where Season 2 kicks off, being that... Uh, we meet a lot of new Transformers, uh, primarily on the Autobot side of Perceptor, Beachcomber, uh, Power Glide, and uh, quite a few others uh, in it. And um, the basic part of this is where we get introduced to the season two character of Power Glide, where him and Bumblebee are flying to uh, pick up these different kind of wave signals that Teletran 1 was picking up out in the ocean. And they go into it, and it's like a cyclone of energy circling upwards. And when they go through it, they find this uh, abandoned prehistoric island that's not on any map and uh, or any known map. And they discover that it's, uh, you know, a prehistoric island. And somehow the Decepticons catch wind of it. And, you know, and, uh, you know, to, and then they plan on, Megatron planes on, uh, scouring it for its, uh, different things, its energy, and, uh, for Energon. But, uh, previous to, well, going into that, that's basically the plot line, but, uh, how it becomes Dinobot Island is, you know, they're train they're, they're showing some training of the Dinobots and uh, um, Will Jack says he could train them with adding a little finesse to their uh, to their things, so you know, to their style, try to make them less clumsy and more usage in battle, and uh, which I think the decept the the Dinobots are fine just the way they are. You know, but uh, that's my opinion. But uh, so they so they, they they try to do some finesse with Grimlock, and he uh, ends up stumbling all around and all that other good stuff. And uh, well, he's starting to work good with Grimlock, but uh, then Slag and Slugs get him get into it, and this chaos just breaks soon, and then Snow and uh. Swoop get involved and it's utter chaos and they get them to where to calm down and Optimus Prime says, "Well, you guys are too big to travel. Hit the train here. We got to send you. We got to take you someplace else to train." And Bumblebee says, "How about that that island me and Power Glide found?" And they, you know, so they so they they agree to it and they go to uh, Dinobot Island to the to the island, prehistoric island, which is where Spike dubs it. Uh, Dinobot Island and uh, they go there and they you know everything turns out to be good and uh, they go there and everything turns out good so uh, or at first and that's when the Decepticons go over and of course Starscream is where his uh, scientific mind goes goes and uh, takes a you know kicks in it's like it's a it's an omen. There's lightning. It's an omen. Those waves concern me, Megatron, and Megatron is greedy. So it's like, shut up, Starscream. I know what I'm doing. You know, not caring about any repercussions, so on or so forth. So they go ahead and take over the island and whatnot, and then all you know, and then uh, that's where it ends. You know, so next week we'll do part two, and um. Oh, also in the process, as they were ending, they make a try and got the uh, real life dinosaurs that were on the island chase the Dinobots into the into a tar pit. You know, so what will happen next week? We will find out. So tune in to the next week as we do uh, Dinobot Island Part Two. So see y'all in the next one. Peace.